Unbelievable, huh? Vacationers, beware a 5,000 mile wide mass carrying biting insects are coming. This is no cap for those non-believers. Here's a few receipts. Scientists have been monitoring what they believe could be the largest sargassum mass on record, spanning more than 5,000 miles from the coast of Africa to the Gulf of Mexico. It is expected to pass through the Caribbean during the summer. Yep, and its next stop is Florida. All right, Stampede fam, let's speak on. it almost looks safe to walk on. When a CBC team visited the northern beach, there wasn't a sea bather in sight. Bradley Graves and his friend Anthony Bailey, who live in Boscobel, St. Peter, were busy driving around looking at the extent of the invasive seaweed, which has affected their usual sea bathing spot. Mr. Graves is bracing for the now familiar smell of rotten eggs, usually associated with the rotting seaweed. <laughs> I would like to check that smell again. Mm. The odor is very, also very proving bad. to be a challenge for small businesses in the east of the island. Rotten eggs. Whoo! Imagine your customers having to come and sit down and deal with that. Yeah, business going to be bad for you. It's going to be real bad. So sargassum boom. What is it? Seaweed? Yeah, but this is not any old kind of seaweed. This seaweed can be spotted from outer space. That's how huge it is. 5,000 miles wide, which is twice the width of United States. Like they said, it drifts between the coast of Africa and the Gulf of Mexico and slams right into the Florida beaches. 14 million tons approximately. In the past, the largest amount that was recorded was in 2018, and that was 12.6 million tons. Now, this year, the report shows there's already 14 million tons in growing. Once it hits the beach, like they said, it starts to rot and gives off a horrible smell like rotten eggs. That's nothing. Sargasm releases a gas called hydrogen sulfide, and hydrogen sulfide can irritate the eyes, nose, and throat. It can even create neuro neurocognitive symptoms in residents that live in the areas as well as tourists. Once that stuff wash up on the beach, them people got 48 hours. That's right, approximately 48 hours before it starts rotting and start kicking out that rotten smell. So to all you vacationers, if I was you, I would add this into the equation. You don't want to picture sunny skies and sand and then you get out there and you're dealing with this mess. So check with your hotel, call them. Make sure they don't have this problem if you going down there in Miami or anywhere in Florida. You really want to do that, people. You really do. That sargasm, it come with some side effects to it, too. Don't think, oh man, it ain't nothing but seaweed. Let's see what the professionals got to say about that. can I protect myself and my family from exposure to sargasm? Always supervise children at the beach. Avoid touching 
or swimming near the seaweed to avoid stinging by organisms that live in it. You hear that people? Use gloves if you must handle seaweed. Stay away from the beach if you experience irritation or breathing problems from hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, at least until the symptoms go away. So you hear that? Stay away from it. And here's the biting insects. That's the package deal. See that? They come with it. The name of the insect is called midges. Midges bite people. Yeah, the Stampede fam, they bite people. They look like mosquitoes, but they're actually labeled as flies. When they bite, they put in work. As y'all can see, whatever you do, don't get stuck on stupid and be like those vacationers you see out there on the beaches. Don't do it to yourself, because when they come, they come in swarms. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Stay indoors, just like it said. Keep your windows closed. You don't want them swarming up in your place of residence. Look at that. Imagine trying to get all that up out your house. The crazy part is, you mistake a mosquito for a midge, or midge for a mosquito. Cause they look similar. But here's the difference. Let me put it up real quick. So as y'all can see, there's your midge and there's your mosquito. And whatever you do, don't be like this idiot right here. I got a bad feeling about this. Dude gonna sit there and let them things land all up on his face and bite him in the face. What the hell? Goofiness at its finest. Those bite bumps can be painful for up to two weeks for some people. Look at that. Y'all see the damage. The midges put in work, people. Stampede fam. Look at these people. They gonna find out. I guess that stuff ain't start stinking yet to draw them in. But from my understanding, there still be little creatures living up in there that stingy. All right, enough of the midges. Let's get back to this sargassum. As with all things that's a problem that comes in abundance, someone's gonna turn those lemons into lemonade. Here's the receipts. Do y'all see how much these people out here racking up on this stuff? Guess what they gonna do with it? They gonna bottle it up. And when they bottle it up, guess who they gonna give it to? Anything that's free, 
they're going to find a way to charge you for it. Whether it's good for you or not. Oh, y'all think I'm making this up, right? Y'all think I'm sitting there telling y'all something that's cap. Y'all think these people won't bottle this stuff up and push it out to you. Well, y'all know me. I get receipts. <laughs> there it is. Look at them prices. Y'all see how much these people charging for something that spreads for 5,000 miles for free? The insanity of it is that according to FloridaHealth.gov, this is in quotes, they said, you should not use sarcasm in cooking because it may contain large amounts of heavy metals like arsenic and cadmium. They even warn to use gloves if you must handle the seaweed. Clearly them companies that's putting it in them pills and creams didn't get the memo along with this dude either. The sargasm that's already been washed once for 10 minutes in fresh water and picked of any sort of uh, impurities that don't belong, whether they're from nature, for example, of this, like little grass, that needs to come out. First we're gonna start by dressing. Stampede fam, y'all been warned.